Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Traditionally speaking, Windows, out of the box, has sucked at wallpaper management. Like, you can change the wallpaper and that's just about it. I mean, there are plenty of utilities available online for free, and of course some are shareware, uh, that will allow you to have a much more rich desktop wallpaper background, whatever you call it, experience. And yes, I'm talking about the wallpaper, the static image that sits there on your desktop, not a screensaver. A screensaver is not wallpaper. Don't call wallpaper a screensaver. That's 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 kind of annoying. Uh, so, <clears throat> as I take a sip of some uh, Vista flavored tea, kind of tastes like vanilla. I want to demonstrate uh, the way that Windows 7 handles wallpapers. Uh, it's it's quite nice. It's it's uh, about time that uh, Windows offered a much more rich experience. If I right click the desktop and choose personalize, let me try it again. I'm right-handed here, so I'm doing my best. Uh, then I go to desktop background. I have the option right now. It's set as a, a black solid color. I can choose a series of images from my library, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to click and select. See how I'm selecting all those? The background just changed right away. I didn't even have to press save changes. I have the option to change the picture position. Either fill the screen, fit, stretch, tile, or center. Nice. And if I selected more than one wallpaper, I can now choose to change the picture uh, from every 10 seconds all the way up to every day. Very, very nice. Uh, of course, I can also uh, select all, clear all. I can choose other images in my library. And I can even shuffle the wallpaper. So I can select potentially hundreds of desktop images, shuffle them all at a, at a random interval, and let me hit Save Changes. One of the things that I really like is the fact that I could now right-click the desktop. Oh, just maximize the window. Let me take it down again. Right click the desktop and choose next desktop background picture. And then it fades oh so nicely into the next random picture. Next desktop picture. There we go. See? And I can just keep doing this. I'm not going to keep doing this, but you get the idea. Uh, they did a lot uh, to enhance uh, wall wallpaper management, or as they're calling it officially, desktop background picture. They could have fit wallpaper in there. They could have said, desktop wallpaper, background picture, image, photo. I don't know. That's good enough for me. Anyway, that's how you do it, and that's where you want to look. Uh, it's certainly something uh, that I think people are going to be welcoming uh, with open pixels when Windows 7 ships. And you can start playing with Windows 7 now officially. You can download uh, Beta Build 7000, which is what uh, this one is here on the HP Touch Smart PC. Uh, if you know of any other tips and tricks that I share with the rest of the community, uh, hopefully my voice won't be as hoarse as it is right now, feel free to drop me a line, chris at perillo.com. And of course, you're going to also join us in our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. And then, of course, the chat room, uh, which is typically talking tech including about Windows 7 24 hours a day seven days a week in conjunction with this live video feed at live.perillo.com we'll see you later